why are there different liturgical colors and what do those colors mean? Well, I particularly love this idea because it speaks to the heart of what Christianity is. Oftentimes we can get into the trap of thinking that Christianity is some sort of abstract philosophy that's all about the ideas of the mind. However, God speaks to us as we are. He speaks to us as humans. As such, he speaks to us in time. He speaks to us through our senses. He speaks to us through our actions and the way we interact with the world. And this the church has recognized and so uses things like uh, incense, uses things like candles, uses things like bells, and uses things like colors to remind us of what is happening. Now, in different uh, churches, for example, the Orthodox Church um, or some of the uh, churches that have united itself with Rome again, um, there are different significances to different colors. But in the Latin Church, in the, the Roman Catholic Church the, of the Latin Rites, um, we usually have four main colors, though there is a couple of extra ones as well. The color green is used to symbolize ordinary time, a time of growing, and is usually uh, associated with this idea of plants budding, springing of new life. And so as we follow the mission of Christ, as he, we go through each one of the gospels, we are reminded that we too are growing spiritually as we go through it. Um, we have red, which is used to symbolize the blood of Christ and the martyrs, as well as the fire of the Holy Spirit. And so this is used to remind us of the blood that the martyrs sped when we celebrate their feast days or when we celebrate Good Friday or Pentecost Sunday. Um, we have white is a sign of joy, um, a sign of the white-robed multitude that is entering into heaven. And so we usually use this with feast days of uh, saints that are not martyrs, um, as well as the other high holy days, um, things like Christmas and Easter. We also would use this during funerals, oddly enough, to show forth the joy of the hope we have that the person has entered into heaven. And then the final of the usual colors is violet, sometimes called purple. Um, which is a sign of penance, oddly enough. Usually we associate purple with royalty, but it seems as though this was supposed to remind us of Christ as he was going to his passion. The soldiers clothed him with a purple robe, and so we remember that Christ is the King of Kings, but we also associate it with his passion. And so there's this idea of a preparation um, of penance um, and of getting ready to encounter Christ, who is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now, with that said, those are the normal colors. There are a few optional colors that we can use. For example, the color rose, oftentimes called pink, um, that we use on two Sundays, Gaudete and Letere Sundays. This is during Advent um, and Lent. Um, and this is a time to remind us of the joy we have even in the midst of our penance. Um, we have a festive color like silver or gold, which is allowed in the United States for the high holy days, for example, Easter or Christmas. And then we are still allowed to use black on two occasions during funerals to remember the mournfulness that we have of those that have passed and also on All Souls Day. So every one of these colors has a sort of symbol, symbolic representation that aids us in our prayer, gets our minds into the game, so to speak, so that we might recognize what we are doing at this given time.